things without any tomorrow. Okay, what's up everybody, this is the Game Virus, also known as the G, -G, 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 G Virus, and we are back with more Let's Play Resident Evil Remake HD Edition. And when last I left you guys, we did some more exploring, unlocked some more doors, we solved some puzzles again, we met up with Barry again, had some laughs with that guy as always, and I need to make room. Again. Oh, man, where's the nearest item box? Oh, man. There's not one nearby at all. Oh, I need a damn item box. There's nothing I can do here. Nothing I can get rid of. I need to freaking find an item box. And this door over here, I'm sure, is locked from the other side. And I can't get through it. Oh, me, oh, my. I need to burn this guy. I'm surprised he hasn't turned yet. Feels like he's been dead for hours. It's locked from the fucking side. Damn it. Well, <sighs> only choice is to go this way. This is the fastest way I could probably take to get to an item box. More item box management. As promised last episode, what I had to do some item managing. Upon returning to this one, oh, I love that shot. Let's just sit there and gawk at it some more. It's so freaking awesome. In that crisp HD. That nice HD polish it has. This looks so good. Did I ever check out what this... Anything to say? She doesn't have anything to say about that picture up there. That picture looks interesting. There's crows in here now. How'd they get there? Oh, it's because the... It's because the window's open right there. That's how they got in here. Oh, that's, that's some serious attention to detail. I like it. I love it. I love it. Man, now I gotta freaking dodge this this crimson head in here. Ah, I'm just asking for trouble. Ah, it's locked on the other side. Ah! Fuck, where'd you come from? Uh, try to get my try to get my knife back. Oh shit! Whoa, fuck it. Fuck the knife. That man is swinging for the fences. Forgot there was a dead zombie right here. Jeez. Well, this this will work out in my favor, actually. Because going this way, I'll be able to unlock that door that's unlocked down there. Where we met our first zombie from the other side. The one that's locked from the other side down there where we met our first zombie. I'll be able to unlock that. And actually explore a part of the game I have yet to explore. Fuck! <laughs> Shit. I'm using up all my defensive items. Here, there. Here, let's get that knife back. Shit! <laughs> Fuck! What the hell? Get him off of here! Ah, oh, Lord have mercy. What just happened? All of a sudden, we're falling apart. I wanna make sure I get that knife back. These defensive items are important. There we go. So as I told you guys earlier, if we manage to get a headshot after stabbing a zombie in the head with a defensive item, we can get it back. Which is a nice little touch that they added. Something not featured in the first game at all. I don't know if there's a zombie over here. There is. I'm not gonna bother killing them. They're, they're, I'm almost certain they're not gonna give me another headshot. I'll kill them anyways though. With the handgun. Definitely not gonna give me a headshot with the handgun. This door, I can't go in this door anyways. Oh! Yes, I can. I think this door just leads us back to the room where that crimson head is, is hanging out at. I probably should have went for a headshot anyways. If he's still alive, I'll go for it. Nah, he's dead. Whatever. But anyway, Jill's hurt, so we have to take care of that immediately. I don't like seeing her hurt. No, we didn't want to check him. 
me heal you immediately, girl. I don't like seeing you hold your... Your impressively flat stomach like that. I hate seeing that. Uh, we never investigated further into this room. There's a save point right there. Nothing else. A well-used bed. There are several kinds of serum here. Many of them are of a sickly color. Uh, like puke green or something. Uh, a chemical. Da -da -da -da. Uh, uh, is there a single herb in here? No, there is not. Damn. Am I gonna get a single herb anyway? Actually, I will. Are there any crazy? You know, she she can run around hurt for a bit longer. Actually, I don't know if I totally want her to be without a a healing item. I can't remember. Uh, I don't think anything. No, I'm good. I think she's okay. I don't think anything's gonna come out and ambush us quite yet. Yeah. Wait, I think there might be a zombie on the other... Standing on the other side of here. Nope. There's nothing but cleaning products inside. It smells faintly unpleasant. Yeah, we're good. Let's go ahead and... Use the lockpick. Now, Chris, in Chris's scenario, he has to utilize all those damn small keys. The poor bastard. In here, what's this? Will you take the battery pack? All right, this is our first taste of our secondary defensive item. The stun gun. Let's go ahead and have that at the ready. Oh, we don't need this broken shotgun at all. I don't even know why that item is even available for us to even look at. Seeing as Jill gets bailed out of the situation with the shotgun swapping by Barry. You don't need that right now. So that 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 weapon shouldn't even be here. Nothing to say about anything else in this room. Just kerosene. Uh, it's kind of a useless room, other than I guess the ink ribbon. They give plenty of ink ribbons though, and the battery pack for your stun gun. Use the armor key. All right, let's let's check out this area. It's been long. This is the fifth video, and we're just barely getting to this part. You take the battery back. Absolutely. So, um... Oh, that looks way better. You can see that zombie. A lot of the shadows look way better on this HD port, man. Like, you can see them better. I remember, like, a lot of the shadows were more faint on the original GameCube port. They look pretty good right there. I should, like... Should I go through this door first? Should I? Uh, let's go get. Let's just get the damn herbs first. She's hurt anyways. But when I come back through here, these idiots are gonna burst through. That's why I was debating what I should do first. You know what? No. Uh, I'll do this part first. Cause I don't feel like having to dodge all these idiots once they burst through here. It's best to just have everything I need to do here done. That way, when they burst through, I can just keep it moving and, and ignore them. Because I can get away from them before they get up on their feet and try to attack me. I'll probably use the shotgun for this next part right here. If I get grabbed, I'm definitely using that stun gun. Oh, shit. No headshot. I'm disappointed. Come on. We gotta get that counter going. If this guy's head doesn't pop, I'm gonna be real pissed off. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, what? <laughs> uh, it doesn't count as a head pop, but you know, whatever. It was nice. At least we got to see a head, a head get stomped into oblivion. <laughs> yeah. Keeper's Diary. Oh, here goes the, the classic, most infamous file in all of Resident Evil. The Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and, and Elias. Alias? Elias. 
it's, isn't it? It's, it's a different name in the original game. It's like it's it's with the A. It's A L I A S. This one it's E. Whatever. Elias from Security and Steve from Research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. May tenth, nineteen ninety eight. One of the higher ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually ate it. May 11th, 1998. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up, scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. May 12, 1998. I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. May 13, 1998. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. May 14, 1998 found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. May 16th, 1998. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate late... late ugh. Estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy. I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? May 19th, 1998. Fever gone, but itchy. Today, hungry. Eat doggy food. May 21st, 1998. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. For itchy tasty. That's the classic file. That's actually a lengthy file, man. I think I probably said that about on my original playthrough. The shelf is full of high proof liquor. Oh, you could sure use a lot of that right now, Jill. You're going through some serious shit. The shelf is full of high proof liquor. All right. I still haven't pushed that statue over the over the railing, so I don't. I didn't want to go in here. Might as well take a look at it while I'm at it. Just a waste of time, though, because I got to come back here. So I still don't have the damn jewel that I'm supposed to plunk down on this tiger's face. There's an inscription here: a tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. So you got to put the blue gem. We're gonna get a blue gem and a yellow gem. You got to put those in there. In the original game, it's a blue and a red gem. So they kind of switch things up on you. Ah, uh, hentai tentacles. I want to. I want them to smack me around, but I don't know if they smack me or grab me. It might do damage. Yeah, it smacks me. Ah, we gotta try to slap Jill on the ass right there as she was trying to run away. I don't blame you. This, this is a freaky ass plant right here. <laughs> ah, let's go ahead and dump this chemical in. Hold on, let's first. Oh, that shit put me in danger. The lid on this water pump is open. Pump the water. Nothing's gonna happen. Which way will you turn the switch? Oh, this is kind of a way I can cheat and see. Yeah, because I was kind of not sure which way I needed to put this thing. Which way I needed to turn the levers so I could poison the plant. But that kind of tells me right there. I don't know if they reversed which color it is that, to kill the plant in this remake. Because you can either 
have the waterfall go on the plant and kill the plant or you can have the waterfall go on the herbs on the side over there and there's like a ton of herbs over there it's a shame if you fuck up and kill off all the herbs go for the red All right, now we get to chew on all these delicious herbs. Oh, there's no red herb here. I'll just, I'll just take a mixture of uh, two greens. We're not, we're not that desperate that we need to use three whole. I mean, it won't give me full health, but I don't, I don't need full health anyways. It's all good. Yeah. As long as she's not holding herself, that's all that matters. I don't like seeing that shit. I mean, can you blame me? Alright, alright, alright. So I can't get all the herbs here, because I still need to get this stupid-ass mask. It's the whole point of coming over here, is to get this mask. Will you take the death mask? So, I'll probably forget to get this herb, but at least you guys saw that it's here. I know. If anything, this LP can be a, a, a source of entertainment and a walkthrough, all in one. Even though there's some things I'm forgetting. Yeah, see, now I can just run past these idiots and not have to worry about dodging them if I had gone to that room before going to this room or, or anything. All right, now we can finally play the damn piano and get the hell and get the item that we need as expected, we're moving through this game very slow. Ah, shit. I'll just waste bullets, I don't care. I don't feel like going to another item box. I need one free space to get the other music notes. So I'll have a complete set. Actually, the keys, I didn't need to do that. The keys, oh no, I already unlocked that. What's left to be unlocked by the armor key? Forgot I unlocked this already. Still got that armor key. What's left to be unlocked? Oh. There's something written in the corner of the picture. Commemorating the completion of the mansion. Oh, an expensive looking grand piano. A wooden counter made of oak. It gives off a pleasant aroma. Like fine wine. Wait, is that a first aid spray there? Why do I feel like there's a first aid spray here somewhere? Maybe not. My mind's playing tricks on me. Yeah, same shit. Nothing to be said about anything else. Oh, careful. Wait a minute. Hold on now. Make sure you're pushing this the right way. Voila! Will you take the musical score? I never investigated these things. Hold on. Let's see. The beginning and the last sections of the music are missing. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, true. It's exactly that, that's what it looks like to me. Let's examine this before we combine the two. Moonlight Sonata. It's titled Moonlight Sonata. Let's go ahead and do some combining. Ah, now what do we have here? It's in, it's titled Moonlight, same shit. Right on. Oh, she's so talented. Big fat ass and nice little nice knockers and she can play the piano. She can play a song for you while you go to sleep. It's like the perfect woman right there. That's why I love her so much. What's this? Another file? Yep. Trevor's Diary. What's my time looking like? Uh, Trevor's Diary.
20 minutes in. November 24th, 1967. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family, I hope they are all right. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. November 26, 1967, how could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coat said something like, Most likely, your family is already dead. I pray for their safety. November 27th, 1967. Somehow, I managed to get out of that room. But getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try and remember, for my own sake. Good luck with that, buddy. Will you take the gold emblem? Oh, fuck no. I forgot to get the stupid wooden one. No, I ain't getting out of here. Just wasting more time. He didn't have anything to say about that. I probably didn't even have room to grab it now that I think about it. Well, at least we got to see what happens should you take that. Well, I guess it would have happened anyways, actually. For fucks. You know what? Tank controls for a second. It feels so much more natural to use the tank control because I'm so used to that. That method of movement in this game. Surprise that guy. Oh, shit! I want this guy to bust through. Come on, bust through, buddy. Bust! Bust! No, he doesn't want to bust. I guess, you know what, I get. I seem to remember them being able to bust through and grab you, but maybe that was just, I don't know, maybe I just dreamed of that shit. Maybe they only bust through if you change the camera angle or something. I seem to remember them, like, opening the door and just grabbing you immediately. Like, scaring the absolute crap out of you. Maybe I'm just mistaken. Come on, buddy. Nah, it's not gonna happen. Now, let's try this again. Round two. Fuck's sake. I don't know if that's just a bad way of controlling it with the free roam controls, you know, getting rid of the tank controls, or it's just that I'm not used to it. I can probably get used to it to the point where I don't accidentally jump back to the previous screen like I've been doing. But only time will tell. I think when it comes down to like expert play, I'll just I'll just use the tank controls to be honest with you. Like when I'm trying to speed run or do a knife run, I'm just going to tank control it. But I'll see what happens after I play through Jill and then Chris. I'll see how precise my movements get. Ah, still doesn't want to bust through. Because on a speed run, the last thing I need is to be accidentally running backwards into the next screen again. That will definitely slow me up. And what, 
do we got here? Ah, oh, man, do I remember the freaking solution to this puzzle? When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. It looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock. Try it? Uh... It's... It's... What is it again? 6.30 or 6 o'clock? Mm. Oh, I got it right. Yeah, it is six o'clock. I honestly couldn't remember. You can actually see the item up in there clearly. Oh, that key looks so pretty. Seeing all these keys in HD is fantastic. I love it. Look how pretty it looks. Oh, it's all glossy. It's like I'm there or something. No, when it looks that sharp and shit, it looks like I'm there. So this is what it would look like if it really existed. There's an engraving of a shield. Still not the helmet key that we need, but whatever. Alright guys! I'm gonna go save and that's gonna do it for part 5 of Let's Play Resident Evil Remake HD. This guy still doesn't want to rise up. I need to burn his ass already. Getting tired of seeing him lay there. Ah! Ah! Fuck. Looks like I had to come through here and dodge these guys, anyways. At least he's out of my face. I wonder if that killed him. It should have. One shotgun round kills them. Unless you graze them, then they're, then they're still alive. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's a crimson head here. Woo! He came down them stairs quick, boy! Damn! Damn, they're already turning. Ah. He came down those stairs super fast. Fuck. Lord have mercy. Alright, guys. You know what? I need to heal her. I don't want to come back to the game seeing her like that, and I don't have an herb. Ah. Shit. Well, I guess we'll have no choice. But to see her hurt when we come back, it's gonna look like I've been fucking up when we come back. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for part 5 of Let's Play Resident Evil Remake HD. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe, I mean to like it. And if you want more, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is the Game Virus. Later.